Hello, this user video tutorial is going to be on how to use your settings within the Road Direct system. This is going to be for your um, senior administration people, um, your high up people in your organisation that want to set up the settings within the system. So they would be given um, the correct user access for this. If you don't have it, you're going to have to reach out to your people within your organisation or Road Direct. But you should have already been giving this. Um, so if you can't get into the settings, you don't have the right user access to start with. So let's start off here. We always log into the system. We always end up on the calendar. To go to the settings, just go to this Wii settings icon up the top of the dashboard. Click that. And then we've got a bunch of different setting options. So we're going to skim through these. First starting with the job booking fields. So these are all the fields that pop up when you add a job booking to the scheduler calendar. And you can change which ones you want to be mandatory for your staff to put in all the time or optional and those sorts of things. So there are some locked ones that the system needs to know so you have to put them in like who's it for and dates and stuff. But everything else you can click the dot dot dot, click view and you can make that either mandatory um, or not. So get in here, have a play. What that correlates to is when you're in the calendar just to add a job. It's talking about these fields. So the red ones are mandatory. So if there's any red fields is what you've set to mandatory. Any yellow highly recommenders, you can still save the job without that information. Um, but it won't stop you saving it. So Anything with no colour on it is just optional. So if you want no fields to be mandatory, go unset those. If you want to remind staff that you think this is valuable when you're getting bookings, make it highly recommended and it will give them that prompt up to you. Fully customization there of how you want to do that. Again, you just that's what it's correlated to when you add a job to the system. Let's go back to settings. TMP templates. I'm not going to get too far into that. It's not really something that's used. If you want to know more about that, reach out to our um, customer tech support. Special dates. That's really cool. We always throw on the public holidays, but you can actually add a special date to this by clicking the add button. And just follow your nose. You can set the color it is and all that sort of thing. So what that might mean to you is that you want a special date for a public holiday, um, which again we've already got those set. It might be your RCA said no work on this day coming into Christmas, so you can set those things in there, or you might have a work function or anything that's unique to you, and you can throw it in there, put a date and a colour to it. That way, with your team, when they're looking at their jobs, will get a pop up colour box over the job saying, hey, special day on this day, and you go, oh, the staff work, dude, don't book on a job then, or oh, yeah, we can't do work this day. So use the special dates however you feel fit. Again, this is gonna be something you first get into and set up when you first get hold of the system, or you're making tweaks as you go along. So it's really, really customizable. The next one is um, staff settings, which is, Pretty much when you're using the timesheet function to record times, this lets you put in some settings there. And you see you can edit these if if you want those things to be included in the timesheet function. So this is the setting relating to that. Let's move on to notifications. So yeah, that again, that's, that's related to the um, timesheet function. Notifications. So get in here, have a wee look, hover over the wee um, green question mark box if you want to know more that there's going to be to whoever you want when they're doing the mobile two hourly checks or toolboxes and using the mobile app for all the stuff the STMS yeah, T Team works down the road that syncs to this system and that'll be who you want that to go to it you don't have to put an email address in there because it does show on the calendar it does sync but it's up to you if you want to put something in there and also get an email if you sick the emails remove it um, SMS, so text. So when you, you can use the system to notify your clients about the job, and if you think there's too much information in the text, you can adapt this and either untick or tick boxes in there. And what that's correlating to is, if we go back to the calendar, 
down here, if we click dot, 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 you can text the client and go, that's the same as, you know, we all get texts saying, hey, your doctor's appointment, um, dentist's appointment tomorrow, or your car's booked in for a service. So you can go text your client and then send them a wee message and then they'll get on their phone, hey, reminder, you've booked in with the traffic management company. And um, if you want to, you can even include a link which will take them to open the PDF of the TMP. So it's a little mini peer review process reminder up to if you use it. Obviously, the system will tell you what that costs when you're using it. It's very minimal. Um, yeah, it's a great way to really improve that um, client experience they're getting with your traffic management company. So that's what that's relating to. And you can also send text to the client and remind them their job tomorrow. Most people can just come in and look at what's there, but if you want to remind a staff member because you've changed your time, you can go and flick them a text and it will give them a link to their job. Really cool feature, but that's what that settings was referring to. The next one is calendar. And this is this is really cool and unique to your company. Obviously on the calendar there's this two times and you know, traditionally one time is going to be, for example, when you want them at the base, and then the next time could be um, the, the time that you want the job set up by. So if we go into here, and we've got one be at depot, and one the next time they say is you should have set up the traffic management site, then you can you can you can change this to whatever you want. So basically, get in here and name this whatever it means to you. Whatever you're doing before, where you said this time here, be doing your toolbox by this time here, set up your first one or last one, whatever it is you were doing, go and change it here. And what that correlates to, if we go back to the calendar, is these two times down here. And then when they see these two times, obviously it's always going to be different depending on when the job client's booked in and how much time you're allowing them to set up, you can then change that hover over what it means. So again, that's just an example. If you've got times that mean something different to your company, just go in there and preset that in the settings. And just have a wee browse, anything else will pop up and tell you what it means. Okay, next one is the warning notices. This is a really good feature. It'll tell you when your TMPs are expiring visually, prompt you, remind you, your entire team will see when those things are happening. Now what that means is to correlate it to a visual, go back to the calendar. When you've attached TMPs to the job and within the job um, you would have said when the TMPs expires. So this one here is showing red which means the TMPs have expired. So it's a great visual when you've got a bunch of jobs on here to go, oh my god, why is that paperclip red? Oh my god, the TMPs have expired. Great, the system's reminding me. You can also set it to go orange when it hasn't expired, but it's about to expire. So if you want that one day before, or you want to run a um, more of a warning notice to be five days before or 10 days before, that's what the system lets you do. So you go to settings, and you could change that to two, to 10, to 12, whatever. So you just get in here and edit when you want them to be tripping to be the different colors. It's also correlating to the dashboard, the TMP dashboard. So that is what it is. Have a, have, have a good look, set those up, play with them. Vehicle checks, when you're using the OSR mobile app, you know, the app that has all the forms SMS users, you know, doing a vehicle check, um, two alley checks, toolbox and all that, this is letting you set that up to have you want. Obviously we've got some pre-default things, but if you go, oh, we don't want to check that, we want to rename that to this, you can change what it means, you can delete it, you can move things around over here and using the Wii order tab, so um, yeah, you just make it your own, whatever you want checked on your vehicles, then when they use the app, those things will be preset as default. The hazard register, the next thing, is the same thing when they're at and they're doing toolbox briefings. And your company, like it probably does now, has a piece of paper of all the different hazards you know that are common that you want them to check, then you just set them up in the system. And the same thing will pop up in the app. So you can come in here and create and 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 have a set of hazards that always defaults landing in the app so they don't have to write everything in and then they can add and remove the small things and if you have a different set of hazards for say um, excavation jobs versus power companies or tree jobs you can then let them be able to grab a set of hazards based on the work activity really cool and that's what's going to be in their app all the time really good you can customize that daily checks so we can go in here and um, if you have a set of checklists, things that you like to do to close off the day, this is what this is referring to. So you can get in here and you can edit these things and add, add different things to them. 
So if you've got a bunch of things that you want done that day, like, oh, check all the staff have been allocated, call your clients, check all the crews back, um, check the weather forecast, whatever it is, you set that up here. And what that correlates to being able to do, so when we go back to the calendar, up the dot, 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 and then we click daily check, for that day we can go, oh, yep, we've done that, we've done this, it'll be time stamped as soon as you do it, and it'll tell you who news has done the checks, and you can use that. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. If you do want to use it, you know how to make it your own now. Let's go back to the settings. Zero integration, if you're using the tracking here when the staff are obviously recording the time materials for job, and if you've got zero, well, you can automatically have your invoicing integrated to zero. Your person that deals with accounts will know that they can get in here and set up the zero. And the last one is tracking. <laughs> so this jumps you to the more of the money side of the system, the tracking system, and it's taking you to the settings within that set, um, system. So put in your GST numbers, chart of account codes, and any customizable stuff that you want to be default integrating with zero. It's all about your account stuff, so the person that deals with this will, will make sense to them, and they can go and edit these things here. Cool, and to get back to the settings within the eboard, you just go back up to that little settings and it'll jump you back there to where we were. Thank you very much for watching. Anything else, don't, don't be afraid to reach up. It's all pretty self-explanatory though. This is very important to get this right when you first set up Road Direct. Thank you for watching.